Welcome back to another Kazuya guide. Today we are going to be watching some Riddles versus MKLeo. We'll be focusing on three main things. What does Riddles do that I don't? What should I be doing in neutral? And three, what combo routes does Riddles use and why? If you are looking to improve your Kazuya and you want the answer to these three questions, then this video is for you. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First things first, like Riddles two separate concepts immediately of how starts competing for Center Stage. Is, and I have this, like... Straight away. CDC into shield, straight into Center Stage. Boom, and is sitting here, sees that Leo's dashing back and knows that he can let go of shield and continue fighting for center stage so he can hold it because now he has it. And Riddles is er, uh, Leo's scared to approach now, he's over here. He made the decision to fake going there and then go back. Riddles went there and now he's holding it up. And now he's if he's trapped in the corner and Leo has center stage, Leo has all the room, all the stage to run away. But in this position, Riddles is in a really good spot. So this is a really good entry. This is like chess. This is like his first pawn move, right? And this is a great one. Immediately taking it and contesting. Two separate concepts of how different matchups are approached. Gets the grab the bat, That's going to be a lot of damage. Of like... All right. We're going to talk about this because this is really important. Of how different matchups Riddles are gets this combo. Recognizes that uh, Leo has two ways to DI. One, you can go for the first sec. Two, can go to the left and then continue the combo, but that way's surely death. So he goes for the first sec, obviously. Now, Riddles chooses to side B here. Now, the reason why side B here is good, and why it usually would work, is because if he side B's here, it covers three things. Missed tech, neutral tech, and tech rollout. So, all three of those options are covered by the side B that Riddles about to do. Now, Leo being Leo, Big Brain chose the one option that Side B wouldn't cover, even though he didn't know that Riddles was going to use this move. So, Riddles only left one option open, and that was Tech Roll In. Like, uh, Just keep that in mind. One matchups and player two matchups. Player one is where you're the one taking the initiative. Yeah. Player two is where you let the other guy go first, and then you try and whip punish. Down air. Go for down air. Don't really get punished for it. He goes for down air here. Now, this is this is this is something that he'll keep in mind later in the set. He downers right here, and he had plenty of time to do anything. He chose to spot dodge because he was scared, but he realizes, like, you know, that was a lot of time. He could have gotten an electric out easily if he buffered it, you know? Whereas, so like, this is something Udo, to think that's of. A very player two matchup, Keep so that in mind. It'll come, in, it'll come in handy Byron, later in this, this set. This is a very much, like, pick your openings, dash in, and then try and blow him up. Against Bio, yeah, let's see what he's doing. Very... Very much, like, Pushing towards your... him. Look at this movement. So fast, he's hard to chase down. Against Bio, it's on the ground. Shields. This is a very Let's go shield. Jumps. Very much shields. This time, like your crouch dash. Shield. Look at this way. Look at this. This is so, so cool. Fast, I haven't, I haven't even thought about doing Bio, something like this. this is a very Boom. Jump out of shield. Much like pick your CDC out of shield. Straight back into shield. That is beautiful movement. And look at this. Openings. Boom. Look at that potential Dash opening. In, Grab. And anything. And that was down. beautiful. Pilot, this is a very much like I'm going to see shield. Dash in and then done try anything. Could have grabbed electric. All that yeah, pressure. So, so much pressure. You can, you can it was gorgeous. Good Almost got the, uh, the OS on to the platform right for the coverage. Really close Ooh, that out. Fair. Yeah, yeah, that was wow, a good fair. That is a violent stock if I've ever seen one. He just died. Yeah. <laughs> he just died. <laughs> he just, he, he, was, he, was he was just found out. Yeah. 100%. We should get up. It's nared. Who's like, who, who get the Look at that. He 100%. uses his crouch dash into shield play? as a checkpoint in between him and Leo. He covers half the distance. Once he's halfway there, he goes into shield. And once he's in shield, he can just wait to see what Leo does. He sees Leo jumping right now. And now the idea is in his head. Maybe I can go up an electric. Maybe I can crouch dash in and get a back tilt. So what he sees is that Leo's probably going to fare, right? Because Leo's at a distance. Leo wants to space a move. He knows that Leo's going to fare. Riddles knows this, and he's going to try and punish. And this is what happens. Last, like, who, who did you give yeah. yeah, 100%. So, I mean, gets time to breathe, checkpoint. Last, like, who, yeah. who did you give the edge to? All uh, that at least in a split second. Leo, just because I think Amazing. This matchup is mid -range. But I also feel like if Riddles can... Continuously gets Tries to up you back, catches him with the fair. In like he's doing right now. Up he's back again, catches him with the back air. He's at an angle with no jump. Only one spot he can go, and it's right here. 
and Riddles covers it with another fair. Yeah, another one not making it back. Riddles Beautiful. just suddenly Edgar. takes the lead away. Amazing. How did he land the timing nice for This is something that happens with us Kazi players is that we get in this um we get in this point where like we're so close to killing them and we're one hit away. Oh, and then they start stressing wait, and playing go. super super fast. No, oh, Riddles misses the And we the keep up it at that pace, right? Electric. Boom, shorts to ledge, yeah. roll from it's ledge, roll again, spot else, dodge, spot dodge, shield, grab, you know, punish. But like, you know, you start stressing a lot and it happens with us because when we miss that, we get scared. When we miss that punish, you know, like there's so many things that can happen to us before we get a hit in. And being at 80%, you know, we might not get the hit in at all. So it's really scary. So that's that's why we start stressing out like that. But he finds the grab and let's keep going. That's rough, man. Yeah, the grab instead of the electric there by Riddle, you're not going to be able to follow that up? Is that... The all down right. from earlier, right. the one that went unpunished. Riddle, you're not going to be able to follow it. That's Riddle's rough, had the bright man. idea to manage yeah, the go for it again. There by Riddle. He didn't get punished for it last time. He's at 80%. What's the worst that can happen at the moment? Worst thing that can happen is that Leo rolls through riddles after uh, once he's doing this, and he just gets hit by an F tilt, and then he's off stage, which he can die from, but he's not dead immediately. Thing is that if he hits him with it, he's dead immediately. So it's a low, it's a medium risk, very high reward. And it works. And he remembered that because it worked earlier, and he got away with it. Look at the face that Leo is making. He's so confused. He doesn't even remember where he's using that fucking move. He's like, what is going on? What the fuck was that? Twirling a cigar? I don't know what that was. it looks like the laggiest move on the planet. In reality, it's not that bad. Let's keep going. That's a thing that like a lot of people are still wrong in the narrative. Okay, this time he switches it up. But just was getting the wrong hit of it. So last time Riddles remembered that Leo backed off. So this time he overshoots and he goes to the corner, expecting Leo to be there. And he makes Leo whiff but just was getting the wrong hit of an error from his time, movement. Yeah, Look at that. And then boom, gets the, gets the, the punish. Amazing. Time, oh, wow. Yeah, that. That's a, a thing that like a lot of people are still kind of figuring out yep. about Milo. Okay. Because, like, how do you tech nair? How do you parry nair? Because it's it's such a, a weird move, and it's honestly one of Milo's best, if not if it's not upbeat. Uh -huh. Where just it has so many different follow-ups and so many different like reactionary things you can do off of it. Yeah. But Riddle's doing a very good Look at this disadvantage. So this is really good. Like, this is something very yeah. important to take away from. Right here. He gets hit by this nair. <clears throat> oh, what is it? And so many like, uh, fair, fair nair. He's at the perfect spot to get hit by a tipper back air, right? And be in a terrible shit spot. So he does not want to get hit by that, obviously. So yeah. he jump. Look at that. That frame right there. That was super close so the reason this worked is because it's his double jump and he's canceling it into his fair so it makes him rise super fast the only reason that he did not get hit here is because he canceled his double jump into his fair otherwise he would have been stalled there for longer his wings would have came out and he would have been tipper back -haired. well not tipper but he would have been back -haired. and he'd have been off the stage in a really bad spot so he double jumped and canceled his double jump animation with a fair, yeah. and then fast falls down to the ground. He sees that he's in a potential so frame trap like, by Leo, yeah. and dodges Riddle's last second to get away from the exit. Beautiful well. disadvantage. Go game two and Definitely do something to take away from. We did run it right back to smash him. Yeah, yeah, how do you feel about that? I was gonna ask. This I like... don't like that from Leo. I uh -huh. think as like a slow character that kind of gets smothered, Violet wants a little bit more space to be able to just like outrange with right the, the fair This is another thing. Character Super important. Riddles has not hit a single first tech up until this point. So, he sees Leo DIing up here, and he's like, you know what? I'm not going to screw with it anymore. I'm just going to back air. Right? Now the thing is, if the back air missed, and he DI'd straight up, then he was in the spot for the first tech. And if the, if the back air hit, then now he has stage control, Leo's off the stage, and he got 20 damage in. Right, he got his lick in, he's off the stage, and he's got stage control. Okay, so it's a win win regardless. Um, the only bad part would be if Leo DI'd to the right. Yeah, no, even if he DI'd to the right, he'd still be on the platform. So, back here, right here, is, is a smart move. Right, 
is either it hits or you get the first sec, the potential first sec. Like so good decision for back there. You don't want like town, right? No, you don't want town, but I with the Oh, exactly what I said would happen. He goes for the downer. And the worst thing that I said would happen, Leo rolls through and F tilts him. So let's see if he dies from it. Okay, takes more damage. Is he gonna die? Nope, he's back. Alright. Worst thing that could happen, he took 30 damage and he's back to center stage. And, well, he lost that interaction, but he had every chance, you know? Downer doesn't seem like that bad of a let's shot. Or let's shot. It's crazy. Alright, even good here. Oh, catches that dodge. Oh, 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 that's insane. That's like the classic blunder against Violet. Yeah. Don't hold in off the up beat. Right, You're going to get it. scared for it. Riddle Goes gets a little bit lucky read. that it was at as Goes low percent for the as he read. was. And he <laughs> for the read. Read. Yep. Riddle's getting a little bit of a classic blunder against Leo was scared Violet. to go yeah. up on this plat right here, right? Because he's been DIing to the plat quite a bit. And he died. Or he, he, he died last time because of it. Or he almost did at least. Right? So this time, Riddles was like, I'm not going to look at your fucking DI. I'm going to go for the read. I know you're going to go off the plat. This is what he does. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Kazuya needs a stamina meter. Nobody should be able to kick that much. Like, Alright, I love how even even right, this, kill these two confirm. are, man. Like, dude, look at that, the second read. Goes for it again, dude. It's wow. If you're gonna take anything away, this is it right here. Bear, down throw, electric. Fuck the DI line. You're gonna go on the platform. I'm going for the read. You're getting curb sucked. The, the first thing that happened in the first game is Riddles did the electric and then did the side B that covered three options, right? This time, instead of going on the long side of the platform, he went for it and did it on the, the right side, right? Because this still is going to cover three options. Roll in, no, miss tech, and tech. All three. Boom. Covered. People in here are screaming every no time West. Riddles gets a hit! Look at that. 50-50 into a 50, into into like a 75-25. So, 50 50 right here, push for the read, gets it. This part was the 75 25 for the side B. And then this is with his positioning. You know, there was a chance that Leo missed or DI'd a little bit further in and missed that. None of this was 100% guaranteed. He got read multiple times here. I love how even even kill these Looks two like are man, like, Dude, people in here are screaming every no time Riddles gets a hit. Yeah. Beautiful. This time wow. finds the like the wow, that is crazy. So that was the first two games versus um MKLO's Byleth now. He goes in and he fights his Marth. Now we're not gonna be watching his Marth gameplay just because um that was sort of a, a matchup check for Riddles. Riddles hasn't you know you don't fight any good Marths. There aren't any good Marths. There, there's, there, there aren't any, you know? He's the only one, at least off the top of my head that I can think of, right? So, um, yeah. Those three things that we were, we were talking about at the beginning were, one, what does Riddles do that I don't? Well, one very big thing that we covered was down air. He was down airing MK fucking Leo and getting away with it. He never died for it. So in this, in these two games we watched, he killed MK Leo with it once, and he died to it zero times. Just keep that in your in your mind when you're thinking about how bad that move is, especially against someone as good as MK fucking Leo, because if it's MK Leo, he's gonna find a way to punish it, right? Well, he didn't. Not very hard, at least. Okay. So definitely something to remember. And what should I be doing in neutral? So remember, Riddle's immediately fighting for stage control, staying in the center, and trying to box out the center, right? He uses the electrics, he uses his kicks, he uses his movement to fight for center stage because that is extremely important for Kazuya because Kazuya has a terrible disadvantage. Awful. And it's, it's balanced that way. Well, he's not balanced, but the character is meant to be balanced. 
by having such a bad disadvantage but the best advantage state, you know? That is how it's supposed to work. It's sort of like tech, the design. You have one to two advantage states and one to two disadvantage states, and then the, the stock is gone. That's it. Beautiful character design, okay? But back on topic, <laughs> stage control. That is one of the most important things to do in your neutral. There is not a lot of stuff that goes on in Kazuya neutral besides fighting for stage control and getting your combos in, right? If you can fight for stage control with your movement and use your movement to get the, the hits in as well, then there isn't much more that you need to focus on, okay? If you're not getting your hits in and you're dying before you can even get your hits, then you need to focus on your stage control more. It's very important, okay? And uh, the last one, what Kambaras did Riddle use and why? Riddles was using back air. Remember, he did the first tech. He had the chance to go for the first tech, but he went into back air that one time, right? The other times he was up on the platform, instead of going for the Demon God Fist, the Crouch Jab, the Electric, anything like that, he goes for side B, because side B covers three of the four options that Leo can do, okay? So that's very, very good. And one of the two times that Riddles went for it, it worked. And that one time, he got the kill for it, okay? Definitely something to take away there. That side B is pretty good when it comes to getting that um, that kill, especially since it worked on MK Leo, right? Riddles was showing us that it does work. He proved it works, especially in these two games here, all right? So, um... I hope you guys enjoyed. I talked quite a bit. My voice, my my uh, mouth is starting to get kind of dry, but hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's been, you know, it's really, really fun to do these sort of things just because I get to learn a lot too, okay? It's not you just learning, it's me learning too. Because everyone can learn from this. No one is as good as him. No one is as good as Riddles. And I want to get there, and I hope that I can one day. And the only way to do it is to is to watch him and play for myself, right? I can get better by watching him. He can teach me some things, but playing by yourself is also just as important because there's no way better to learn than hands-on experience, right? That is the best way to learn. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.